How to Build a Container Image Using Builda. Up until this point, you may have been using Docker to build your container images inside of your Kubernetes cluster. Last week, you found out that Docker is no longer going to be available within your cluster, so now you have to come up with an option. In a previous video, we talked about using Kanako to build your container images within Kubernetes. In this video, we're going to talk about using Builda to do the same. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.319.3. I don't have a static agent connected to this controller, but I do have a Kubernetes cluster set up to provide us agents. If you're not sure how to do that, refer to the How to Use Kubernetes Pods as Jenkins Agents video that's listed down in the description. We also have a sample repository that we're going to be using for this video. The link for that also is down in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at that repository. We have a Docker file, we have three Jenkins files, and a readme. And let's first take a look at our Docker file. And this is a fairly straightforward Docker file. I'm saying from Red Hat, UBI 8-minimal, and then a version number. And let's go over to our Jenkins file 1, and let's look and see what we have here. We have our defined Kubernetes agent, which is using Builda, and we're going to use the stable version of Builda, and we have a specific version that we're going to be using. We've set up a volume mount that's necessary for Builda, and also we have the security context privileged set to true. Now, if we go down and take a look at how we're going to build this image, it looks very similar to how Docker looks. You can almost replace any time you're using Docker with Builda. So in this case, I have Builda build dash T. I'm giving it the tag that I want it to be, and then dot. So let's go ahead and go back over to our controller and let's create a new item. I'm going to call this Builda pipeline. Click OK. And let's go ahead and run that Jenkins file one. So pipeline script from SEM. Get our repository URL. The branch is main. And my script path is going to be Jenkins file dash one. Let's click on save and then click on build now. And as this finishes up, what we can see is that there was an error creating the container. And the error is short name resolution enforced, but cannot prompt without a TTY. Do you remember a few moments ago when I was saying that you could almost replace Docker with Builda anytime? That is true. But one of the opinionations that Docker assumes is that it's always going against Docker Hub by default. But Builda does not have that same opinionation. So let's go back over to our Docker file and let's make one change to our Docker file. And what we're going to do is we are going to edit the file and we're going to say docker.io slash. So we're specifying which registry that Builda is going to be using. So let's go ahead and click on commit. Let's go back over to our job and let's run this one more time. And we can see this time that the job completed successfully by pulling the image, which in our case was Docker IO Red Hat UBI 8 minimal and the version. And then it created the image, tagged it correctly, and that was it. So right now we know that Builda can connect, pull our reference image, do the build, and now we have to figure out what our next step is. So let's go back over and take a look at Jenkins file two. So with Jenkins file two, what we're going to be doing is in addition to doing the build, what we're going to do is we are going to log into Docker Hub and then just log out because when we create our image, we want to go ahead and push it up to Docker Hub. You might be using GitHub Container Registry or ECR from AWS or any other type of registry. For this example, I'm just using Docker Hub. So I'm going to have to create a credential within Docker Hub and then we will use that credential to do our login first and then do our logout. So we'll build, log in, and log out. But notice this logout. I'm using the logout in the global post always directive. So in this case, I no matter how this happens, whether it was successful or fail, I always want to log out. So let's go ahead and go over to Docker Hub and let's create our credentials for this. Now you'll notice that we're going to need a user and a password. But I'm not going to be using my Docker Hub user credentials, but I am going to be using a token that I can use under security. So I went to account security and I'm going to create an access token. So in this case, the access token description I'm going to say is builda-jenkins. 
And I'm going to leave read, write, delete as my permissions. And now I have my token. So I'll copy this token. And you notice how it's saying to use it. In this case, we're using Docker login, but build a login works exactly the same as how Docker login works. So I've got my token copied in my buffer. Let's go create a credential. But before I do that, let's look back over here. I need to create a credential that has dh-creds as its ID. And I know I'm going to be using a username and password because of how the credentials are loaded in from the environment block. So it's going to be dh-creds all lowercase. Manage Jenkins, manage credentials. Let's create a new username password. Username password. My username is Darren Pope. My password is the token that we just created. And the ID is dh-creds. I'll do the same for description. So now that credential will map into my Jenkins file too. So let's go ahead and go back over to the job. Let's modify our Jenkins file one to Jenkins file two. And just make sure that our login and logout work as expected. Yes, we're not doing the push yet. I'm okay with that because I just wanna make sure, can I build? Yes. Can I log in? Yes. And can I log out? Sure, why not? Let's click on build now. And let's watch the log. And as it's finished up, we can see that our build worked successfully, our login worked as expected, and then also our logout worked as well. And finally, let's go take a look at Jenkins file three. And what we have here, again, building on top of what we've already done before. We do our build, we do our login. We're gonna create a latest tag from the image that we've already created. Then we're gonna be pushing both images up, fully qualified, and then we're gonna do our logout. So let's go ahead and go configure our job one more time to Jenkins file dash three. And run it. And what we can see from this final run is that we have our build, our login, our tag, our two pushes, one that's versioned and one that has latest, and then finally our logout. And let's go over to Docker Hub and look and see what we have here. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's go back up to my top level. I'll go ahead and refresh this. And what we'll see here is now we have my Jenkins example build a image. And we can see that we have two tags, the 85230 and also the latest. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.